All right, you guys, we're going to get started in a second. Hi, you guys. How's everybody doing? How you guys? How's everybody doing? We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna give it um about another 30 seconds. All right, so this is what we're painting tonight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, you all. I have my flat brush and we're painting some tulips tonight. Tulips, look at that. If y'all are feeling it, I want y'all to tap the screen. If you are feeling it, tap the screen. We'll start off here with some yellows and then we're gonna work our way into some cyan. There's some dark blue on the sides. We'll do all that. Okay, but how's everybody doing? If you are joining my life for the first time tonight, I want you to drop a pink heart. Drop a pink heart. I'm gonna dip into some yellow. And I'm gonna go off to the side with my yellow. Let me push this down and zoom in. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go off to the side with our yellow. And then as I add on the yellow, this is an abstract painting. So I'm just gonna very loosely add the yellow on there, like X marks, just flow with the paint, flow with it. Carry some over here on the left. And as I add on this yellow, I'm getting into a little bit of my magenta. It's a tad bit. And let's add in some of that magenta on top of the yellow, down at the bottom. Just mix it on in. I'm gonna go back into a little bit more of my yellow. Sweep it in. All right, let me carry a little bit more of it over here. Okay, and this is what I have so far. So once I have this much of my yellow on there, we're going to start to move into some cyan. Y'all see the cyan on the right side? So right here, and then we have some deep ultramarine blue on the left side, okay? Thank you for everyone sharing my live. Sarah, hey, boo. Thank you for sharing, Sarah. Who else shared it? How are you doing? I can't see the other person who shared it, but who? Um, thank you for those that are sharing. Make sure if you guys are enjoying my live, go ahead and share it. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. And I'm gonna go into some cyan. So my cyan is on the left side. I'm just gonna sweep it in. Again, this is an abstract painting. So it doesn't have to necessarily blend very smoothly. Just make sure it merges with your yellow. Go right into it. I'm gonna add in a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna carry it down right here at the bottom. All 
And then I'm going to start to add in some ultramarine blue. No, I wasn't live Wednesday. No. I'm going to actually, this Wednesday is going to be like my last official day going live on TikTok. Again, I'm still going to go live, but just not as often. But for a short Wednesday, it's not going to be consistent on TikTok anymore. It's going to be on YouTube. Are you going this Friday? Are you excited? Yes. Oh, you okay. Oh my gosh. Is he a first ever Swiss concert, is there? Okay, all right. So this is what we have so far. Again, very abstract, loosely painted. You just can't think about it. You just gotta plop the paint on there. So now let's add in some darker blue, some ultramarine blue on the left side. So I'm gonna dip into my ultramarine blue. This color is so strong, you gotta be careful. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a little bit and I'm gonna go off to the side and plop that, um, that green on there. This whole time, y'all, I have not rinsed off my brush. So let's add it in, sweep it, merge it into your cyan. I'll get into a little bit more. I'm gonna carry it, I'll carry it down here. And just go in different directions, paint it vertically, paint it horizontally. Let's, maybe I, I wanna add a little bit on top right here. Okay. Ooh, I didn't even mean to do the dripping. I didn't even mean to do that, but I like it, I'm gonna keep it. I am going to keep it. I may just add some more drips on purpose. That's cute, I like that. Hey, Shay, I haven't seen you on my live in so long. How are you? Thank you. That was Pink Water for following. Not my first, but I haven't been since the release of her first red album. Oh, okay, okay. I think I probably asked you that before. All right, so now, before we fill in this bottom section, let's section it off like it's on a table. So you see that geometrical shape almost like a triangle i'm gonna use some magenta to do that so i'm gonna go from the right corner carry it up towards the center and then come back down just like a triangle so i'm gonna use my flat brush still i'm gonna dip into my flat brush dip into my magenta with my flat brush okay and then let's go ahead and carry it from the right side so here on the corner let's drag it up We'll go, yeah, about here. So it's from there. And then we're going to drag it all towards the right. And again, it's okay. It's a little lopsided, whatever it is. This is abstract. All right. So now that we have it in there, let's try and blend it just a tad bit. Blend it out. I'm going to go back into some yellow. Add my yellow right beneath. And then here, I'm gonna add in some cyan. Again, not thinking about it too much, just plopping the colors on there. Let's add some up here at the top too. Some blue, ultramarine blue. Okay. Let me see. I want to add, let me add some cyan back on top of this part here. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what I have. Isn't that beautiful? Just like that, this just could be a standalone painting. I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my brush. I want a little bit more white down here in the bottom. Hello, hello. I'm on YouTube as well, you guys. All right, so let's add in a little bit of white in here. I'm just gonna dip into just a little bit of it. And I just wanna sweep some in here. The abstract paintings, y'all, you cannot think about it. It's supposed to be very loose and free. Okay, all right. I added some white in there. This is what I have. 
to go anywhere else from my website. All and then we're going to start to add on the tulips. We'll add it on there. Okay. I probably made 75% of my money. Uh, thank you, Emily. She says you are doing so good. Thank you. Um, that was pink water. It's so pretty. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Raven inspiration. Yes, this is acrylic paint that I'm using, you all. This is acrylic paint. All right, so let's keep going. So again, this is what we have. Let me show my YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube. I will not be going live on TikTok consistently anymore. I'll be on YouTube. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same handle. It's the Nathan Art. I'm actually live on YouTube right now as well, you guys. Okay, so we have our background in there. Now let's go ahead and start adding on the tulip. We're going to do a very loose shape of the jar. We're going to do a loose shape and then we'll add on the stems right over it. But this is what we have. Okay. So to do the jar, I'm going to switch to a round brush. Okay. I also call these pointative brushes. But the technical name is a round brush because the ferrule, this is your ferrule. The ferrule is round. So this is a round brush. And then I'm going to go into some white. <laughs> Sarah, you've been on so many of my lives. And you say, how did I do that so fast? You know how I do, boo. <laughs> um, okay, where's everybody from? No one has commented. Where, where's everybody from? YouTube, where are we from? Who's in the house tonight, YouTube? Tell me, where are you guys from? TikTok. Where are you guys from? If you are just joining my live for the first time, my name is Nay, you all. And I do step-by-step -step paintings. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be going live on YouTube. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and dip into some white. I don't want too much. I'm just going to draw a loose shape of the jar. So it's a tiny bit of white. I'm using a pointed tip brush. So with the jar, it's almost like it's a V shape. It's not a very deep V. So I'm going to come and it's, it's right in the center. So I'm going to start on the left side and drag it in and then go right back out. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Ruthie. Hey girl, what is going on? What's up, boo? Hey, I'm so glad you're in here tonight. How are you? The last time I talked to you, you had a, um, Uh, was it colonoscopy? I think so. The DMV. Okay, we have the DMV in the house. Where's everybody else from? <laughs> Seriously, I looked away for a sec. You already had the whole background, <laughs> the whole background done. You know that's how I do, girl. Are you doing okay, Ruthie? How's everything? For those of you doing this in watercolor, you can add in the white with the gauge. Yes, you can. You can. Tennessee. I've been to Tennessee one time, Nashville, Tennessee. That's okay. That's okay. But make sure you make it on there, Ruthie. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Let me just turn to for a second. Like, thanks. Oh, how are your kids doing? Everybody's doing okay. Oh. Okay. All right. So I got to catch up with you personally, Ruthie, because. Talking to you like live is so much better. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and draw the jar. So I want my jar, the center of my jar to kind of land right in here, this part. Okay, so we'll start here on the left. Don't go too far off. I'm gonna start about here. And I'm gonna draw a very slight diagonal line. Again, we don't want it to be too too deep of a V. So here, and then we're gonna carry it back out towards the right, another diagonal line. Okay. It's hard to see, but that's what I have. That's what I have, YouTube. Okay, now I'm gonna drag it straight down, vertical line. Okay, and another one here. I still think this is too deep of a V. Let me kind of shape it up a little bit. 
<laughs> this is just a very loose outline. Keep that in mind. We're going to come back later and um, perfect it. And then at the bottom, I'm going to come in. It's not a straight line. Again, it's almost like a diagonal line. And this is what you have here. Something that I never had. Okay, good. I'm glad you subscribed. I'll be going live on there on YouTube. Okay, we'll do for sure. Okay. All right. Now that we have our jar shape, let's go ahead and start adding in the stems. Okay. So I'm going to rinse off my brush. Rinse, rinse, rinse. If you guys are enjoying the live, make sure you guys are sharing. Share the live. Tap the screen. Thank you. That was pink water for all of the love. Let's go ahead and go into some green. I'm going to dip into it. And then we're going to add the stems on there. Let me show you all what the stems look like. Okay, so there's the stems. So when I do the stems, I start off with very light pressure. And then we're going to drag it into the jar. So start with light pressure and then press more on your brush so it widens and drag it into your jar. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come from the side. And then drag it in. We'll start with these lighter ones. Okay, there's my first one. I'm gonna add some more. And then later we'll come and add in some darker ones. So you're just dragging them from different directions. Maybe you want to do some on the left side. Maybe you want to do some that comes straight up from the top. The key is to make sure that the ends are very like wispy looking. Okay, let's do let's do some short ones too. Okay, let me crisscross some of them. All right, so this is what I have. Okay, so from here, let me um let me add in, let's see. I'll add in one more of the light ones. And then we'll do some darker ones. Okay, there we go. All right. So now let's add in some dark ones. I'm going to use phthalo green, which is a very rich dark green color. Okay, here. Okay. So here is my phthalo green. I'm going to dip into it. And then I'm going to add some of the dark ones, kind of like in the center, right over your light green ones. So let's do more maybe here. A little sphere. Okay. So there's one there. Let's add in another one off towards the side. And I kind of like sweep it into the light green one so it slightly blends. Maybe we'll do one up to the side here. And then notice I'm landing in the center of my jar. Y'all see that? I'm landing in the center. Okay, we'll do one more dark one. Mm, let me see, what do I want to put this one on? I need one that kind of comes over the jar. Okay, leans over. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, all right, so this is what we have. 
So from here, I'm going to add in a little bit of white. So I'm rinsing off my brush. I'm going to dip into a little bit of white. And I'm going to highlight my light green with some white. Okay, let me go. Add some in here. You're just going in with a little bit of white on your brush and sweep it in. Sweep. I'm doing mostly only the lighter ones, the light green ones. Let me add in some darker green. Okay, all right. So this is what I have. Okay. Okay, Sarah. See you again. See you again soon. Okay, you'll be back before I get up. Okay, all right, cool. Let me sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, thank you. That was clean water. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding on some tulips. So I'm going to rinse off my brush. And then I'm going to go into magenta. So I'm going to dip into it. And then my tulips land in random areas on my stems. Y'all see that? Okay, so let's see where I want to add the first one. Hey, Smash. Hi. How you doing? I love that y'all don't y'all don't change your profile pictures. So that's the only way I remember if I don't see you often in here. I remember the profile pictures. Okay, so we have magenta on the tip of our brush. And let's go ahead and add in the actual petals. Okay, hold on, let me try and zoom in. Woo. Okay. All right, so let me zoom in. Just join with my hair using. Hi, Sean Early. I'm using acrylic paint. I'm on YouTube too, you guys. Okay, so let's add one of the petals over on the end of this stem. So when I do the petals, I kind of just add in, pretend like I'm going in to draw like a dot on top of an eye. And I press down and I drag it. And I kind of do that like three times. So one, two, and then three. And once I have it just like that, I dip into a tiny bit of white, tiny bit of white, and then sweep in hints of white on your tulip. Okay, and look at that. Look at that. But it's so many, it's so many different techniques to do tulips. They're like one of the easiest flower that you can paint. Um, let's add one maybe here in the middle. So let's do one here. You can also do it like you're drawing a U, draw your U like that. And then just kind of perfect it some more. So go in the center and drag up a petal like that. Okay. And then there you go. You have another tulip. Then we're going to go into some white, just a tab of white. And we're going to highlight it with some white. And there it is. That's a different way to do it. So always when you're painting, just know that there's multiple ways to reach the same goal. So if someone's teaching you how to do something and that doesn't work for you, try it a different way. If you get the same result, it doesn't matter how you do it, if you get the same result. Um, let's do, they have to go different directions. So let's do one that kind of slants towards the left side. All right, so again, I'm gonna go in like I'm dying the eye. I press down, I drag it. But as I drag it, notice that I didn't come straight down. I kind of curved it just a tad bit. 
So I have one on the left. Let's do one in the center. The one in the center comes straight down. And the one on the right, it also curves. Curve it. Once you have it like that, dip into a little bit of your white and highlight it. Highlight it with just a tad bit of your white. The key thing with your tulip, make sure it's rounded at the bottom. Okay. All right, there's three. Let's add one. Where else do I have some? Oh, I have one on the left side there. I don't know if I have room for that one. Maybe I'll do it here. Okay, let's add one here. Then I always go in and I highlight it with some white. Okay, my YouTube fam, where are you guys from? Where are you guys from? Um, looks great, thank you. Are you using one size brush? I'm using a medium size pointed brush, okay? And again, the technical name for this can be called a round brush because it feels round, okay? All right, so let's keep going, y'all. Okay. So I'm gonna add, let's see. Maybe I'll add one more. I'll do it on this side. Okay. And then once I kind of have my tulips, I'll come back and add on a second layer if needed. Okay, Arkansas. My best friend, um, she lives in Arkansas. So I visited once. She lives in Bentonville. Okay, more petals. What do y'all think? Should I add more petals? Yes or no? Comment. What do you think? More petals or no? Then let me know. Should I add more? I think I'll add maybe one more. Maybe one more here. Okay, Shay. One more. And sometimes you kind of have to like step back and look at it and make sure you like what you see. I think that's good. What do y'all think? Okay. Let's zoom out. We're looking good, y'all. We're looking good. Y'all gotta let me know. Let me know how we're looking. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Thank you, Sean. My sister's name is Sean, and it's spelled S H A N, so that's why I say, we pronounce it as Sean instead of Shan. Okay. All right. So this is what I have so far. So now we're going to go ahead and add on the jar. Okay, we're gonna make it stand out even more. So I wanna rinse off my brush. Let's rinse it off. Let's wipe it off on our napkin and then we're gonna dip into some white. Okay. And then we're gonna outline our jar once again. Oh, uh, Brian, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm seeing so many familiar faces back in here. I'm so glad to have y'all tonight. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and outline the jar once again. So I'm gonna go right over my petals, not my petals, my stems. I'm gonna come here. Slight dip and then come back out. Okay, and then we're gonna come down. Remember, this is an abstract painting. It's okay if things are not perfect. <laughs> I gotta preface that in case I make a mistake. <laughs> All right, and then let's come at the bottom. Okay, all right, so this is the outline. No, I'm not a lefty. Uh, TikTok, they flip the screen. So it's mirrored right now. So it may look like I'm left-handed, but I'm actually a righty. I've always wanted to be ambidextrous though, you guys. I wish I could do both. This is my left hand. My left hand, this is my right. Okay, so now that we have the shape of the jar, let me just give this one more layer. Dip into a little bit more. Okay. All right, so we have the shape of the jar. Now we have to kind of add on a glare on it to make it look more realistic. So I'm gonna show you here. There needs to be a glare on there. So um, when you're doing the glare, you kind of have to add a little bit of water to the white to thin it out and then wipe it off on a napkin so there's not a lot of paint. It's not gonna be super opaque and you're gonna add on a random streak. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna add on some that's actually opaque and really stands out. Well, let's start with the one that's a little bit more thin. So let's add, we're gonna dip into our water cup, dip into it, and add water to some of your white. You're thinning out your paint, because we're gonna add a glare on the jar. Okay, once you add on the water to your white, wipe it off on your napkin, and let's add in some random streaks on our jar. Okay. So I'm just going up and down. There's some down here. I'm following the shape that I already see. I'm gonna add some over here too.
Okay, all right, so this is what I have. Y'all see that? Yes. So now that we have that glare, let's dip into the regular white, the one that's not watered down. Let's add some more opaque lines on there. Y'all see these ones, these are opaque, and these are the ones that are watered down. Opaque, watered down. Yes, the glare, yep. All right, so now I'm just dipping into regular white and I'm just gonna go in and add on some lines on there, vertical lines. Let's add some down here. Not a lot of these though, just a tad bit. Okay. And then uh, let me carry the jar towards the back so it doesn't look, it needs to look more three-dimensional. Let's carry a piece of it back here. I should have added more stems to cover it up. So if you are doing this, maybe you wanna try it, just add more stems to cover it up so you don't have to do this step that I'm doing here. Okay. You see, I had to go in because I didn't add, I should have added some more stems. So I just went in and added some more lines in the back. These are the lines I'm talking about. Oop. Just cover it up. Hold on. All right. Okay. I want to add on a little bit of cyan to the jar and green. I'm just going to add a little bit of that. I'm going to add it right here on the outside. Okay, all right. All right, so this is what ha we have. By the way, you guys, I am live on YouTube as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube because YouTube, I will be consistently going live on here doing paintings. Okay, so the very last thing we have to add is the shadow. The shadow, what do y'all think so far? Hi, Cynthia, thank you so much. Cynthia, are you from TikTok or you found me on YouTube? Where are you from, Cynthia? Did you find me on YouTube? Okay, this is what we have, you guys. TikTok, what do we think? What do we think? <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Okay, so the very last thing we have to add on is our shadow. Y'all see that? The shadow in there. So I use ultramarine blue. I'm gonna rinse off my brush. And then we're gonna dip into ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue. So I'm just gonna grab a tad bit of it. You can water it down if you like. You add a little bit of water to make it um, to make it not as opaque. And then we're gonna go right at the bottom of the jar, and we're gonna add on. Our shadow. So you basically kind of just underline the jar. Don't overthink this step, it's just random lines. You can wiggle it too if you want. Okay. And then that's the last step, y'all. That's the last step. Okay. So we like to vote, y'all. Once I'm done painting, 
We like to vote on the one we like better. So let me see. I need to number it. Let me grab like a sticky note or something. Okay. And then we're gonna vote, y'all. Let's put. Um, Okay, we're gonna vote on the one we like the best. Okay. So this is, since this is the original, this is one. That's the original. This is two. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and vote. On TikTok, I pulled a poll. So let me pull it up. Mm. Okay, where is, oh, here it is, okay. No, that's not the one I want. I can't see the poll that I used to, that I use on here anymore. Okay, we'll do just do a text poll. Uh, okay. Okay, hold on, y'all. So YouTube, go ahead and comment which one you like better. Cynthia says one. Okay. All right, just, <laughs> okay, TikTok. Go ahead and comment. This is one. This is two. Damn, girl, said two. Okay, Black Girl Design says two. Okay, let's tally it up. Let's tally it up. Again, I'm on TikTok and YouTube, you guys. So there's going to be... Okay. All right. So all right, Cynthia said one. So we have a tally. One. Okay. Shane said one. Okay. Black Girl Design says two. Okay, now for TikTok. Okay. Oh, you bad. Okay, Sarah, I love that you do that. It's too cute. Um. Okay, two. Okay, Fendi says two. Oh, two look like it's in the running, y'all. Okay, Sarah says two as well. Okay, anybody else? Come on in with your final votes. We're going on which one we like better. Okay, this is one, just comment. This is one and this is two. Let me hold it close. Okay, YouTube, this is one. Okay, y'all see it, TikTok? This is two. This is two. Okay, I'm gonna give everybody 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay, I don't think anybody else is, is voting. Okay, so the winner da, 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 is two. Okay, four people voted for two and two people voted for one. So for um for the ones you voted for, you guys, comment what did you like about it? Whichever one you chose. And then I'll tell you guys what I liked about it. Okay, Sarah says, I like the flowers better on two. Looks more perfect. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Sarah says she likes the flowers on two, y'all. So it looks more perfect. Okay. Sometimes I don't like perfect, but sometimes I do. It just depends on the painting. 
Sometimes I, I like sloppy sometimes. It just depends. Okay. Let me see. So comment, you guys. What did y'all like about what you voted for? You too. What did y'all like about the one you voted for? Okay. Black Girl Design says... The pop of red orange at the bottom on two did it for me. Okay. She said the pop of orange on the bottom just did it for her. Yes. I love that too. Okay. Sarah says they're also brighter. The flowers. Okay. Anybody else wants to comment what they like about what they voted for? All right, so I'll tell y'all. Hmm, let me see. I gotta turn this way so I can really look at it. Hold on, y'all. Hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, I see. Okay. I do, I love the background. Love the background on this one. Oh, uh, thank you. Send me some roses. Ajin, Ajin Sweets. I hope I said it correctly. Thank you. Okay, wait. Cynthia says, you mentioned a video, number two brushes are, oh, no, two brushes are created equally. What about paints? Which are the better ones? So um, with paint, it's true. No paints, not all paints are created equally. I like to use Liquitex. I use Liquitex because it's super pigmented and it's very thick and opaque. But I also use, I use some paints. It just depends on what you're going for. I like to use like watery paints too. Like I don't mind it. Like this one here, this is like a Walmart brand. It's like 50 cents and I use it too. But generally speaking, I like Liquitex. I love Liquitex. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the paint that you're using because you can get really frustrated and think you're the problem when you're just starting out painting when it's not used, the tools you're using. When you become like a little bit more experienced, start to like kind of play with different paint brands, depending on like, I use this one, this one, because I know it's water and I kind of wanted that for the background. But generally speaking, love, love Liquitex. Cause you can always water your good paint down. You can always water it down, but it's very hard to thicken up cheap paint. You could do it. You definitely can, you can do it. You can mix corn, you can mix it with cornstarch or you can mix it with um modeling paste. But who wants to do all that? <laughs> who wants to do that? You can do it, but um I'd rather go with the good stuff. Liquid text. Yeah, I was gonna okay, Rhonda's saying I was gonna say that. So Rhonda says she likes the the jar on one. Me too. Yeah, I knew it was gonna kind of turn out a little lopsided on this one because my angle, my angle is kind of off. So I knew it was gonna it was turn out a little lopsided. I agree with you though, girl. I agree with you, honey. Um, and I in higher jaw. Yes, thank you for the heart. Have you used Craft Smart? That one is good to Sarah. Of course. Of course I use Craft Smart, yep. Yeah. yeah, I like Craft Smart. Yeah, Liquitex, Windsor Newton. Um, what else? Okay, let me see. Let me pull out some. Okay. Love Windsor Newton. Love Essentials too. This is actually the a Walmart brand, but it's a better, a better one. It's a more like um, higher end one. This one, Essentials. This is good. But you guys, I literally have like a whole. Remember, I have a paint course, a beginner's acrylic paint course, where I go into depth about choosing the right brushes, the right paints, all that. And you can watch it on YouTube where I. I uploaded like a course preview so you have an idea of what the course is going to be like before you purchase it. You can watch that on there. I have little clips. But yeah, I do have a beginner's paint course, you guys. Shan says, great advice. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, Cynthia. I mainly use Craft Smart. I have the primary colors in Liquitex. Yeah, I love Liquitex. Okay. 
This was a really fun painting, a nice spring painting. I love doing this. Okay, um, you guys, my last time going consistently on TikTok will be Wednesday this week. This week. And for those that are wondering why I'm transitioning to YouTube, TikTok is very fickle. I know, did y'all hear about that conference, the meeting that they had? Not conference, the meeting that um, the TikTok CEO had with Congress. Did y'all see that? I was watching it. I was watching majority of it. Can you combine different brands? Yeah, of course you can. I did I did it today. I did I actually do it all the time. I combine different brands all the time. But I was just telling everyone that when you first start out, is sometimes it's best to just start with a good brand because you don't want to prejudge yourself and think like you're messing up, but it's really just the tools that you're using. So start with something good and then later on you can like mix and match. Do our tabletop canvas holder different than standing canvas holder? So you're talking about, yeah, this is a tabletop canvas. I'm gonna hold it up so everybody can see. Ooh, this is gonna fall. Yeah. Ooh. This is a tabletop canvas because it has like, you see the flat part where you can like sit on a table. And then a standing one, I just had it. Ugh, I don't feel like it. I'm just, okay, I'll grab it for y'all. I'll grab it. Yeah, consistently, yep. I will, Sarah. Okay, I'll show y'all. Let me just grab it. I'll show you what the big one looks like. Give me one second. Oh, TikTok can't even see me. Um, let me move this. So, uh, so Shane, this is like a bigger easel and it's adjustable. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna move this so y'all can see. Do you do commission pieces? Yes, KPPA, I do commission pieces. Just email me. My email is it's a nathanart at gmail.com. Yep, I do digital and I also do traditional art as well. Sarah, thank you. Thanks for the roses. Oh, and a finger heart. Thank you. Okay, so yeah. Um, yeah, Shan, this is a bigger, a bigger easel. So you would use this if like you're teaching a paint party, you're teaching a class. And I mean, if you want to do it on your own while you're painting and you just want to stand and paint, stretch your legs, then that's what a standing easel is for. But that's the only difference is one is for a tabletop. If you can, you can sit on a chair and paint. This one you just stand. I think it's good to have both. It's good to have both. Especially if you're going to uh, record yourself doing it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube. So my last time going consistently on TikTok, going live consistently on TikTok is going to be Wednesday. That does not mean I'm not going to go live at all, but it's not going to be consistent. It's going to be kind of uh, just rare. I'll be on YouTube. Okay. Do y'all have any other questions for me? I'm guessing you just watched my video, Shan, recently. I'm going to put out more tips. I'll put out more tips for you all. But, yeah, I think it's good to have both. We'll start now. You can just, like, you can work with a tabletop. You can also do, um, let me show you this one.
Okay. Like I have a trunk full of these, but these are like the little mini ones. I know I had one open somewhere already. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I have these as well. Thank you, KPP. Says, I love your work. Keep it up. I will. Okay, so these you can use too. I use these for my paint parties. So yeah, I have a ton of them because it's for my paint parties. So with these, you would add on um, like an 11 by 14 canvas. So this is why I was talking about my video. Okay, so for my TikTok family, people are asking me questions like uh, about easels, tips and tricks. So that's what I'm discussing right now. So here, you wouldn't, for something like this, you wouldn't add on nothing bigger than 11 by 14. You can just lay flat and paint. But this is not considered a tabletop easel because it doesn't have that flat part like this one has, like this one has that flat part at the bottom, you see? So that's the difference. Okay. A DBA, what's a DBA? I don't know what that is. Okay, do you guys have, um, Peggy? Yeah, my YouTube is, um, it's a Nathan R, it's the same handle. It's the same handle. Yeah, make sure you guys subscribe. Where my music go? Oh yeah, like I I have an LLC, but I don't handle any of that stuff. I have someone that handles it. So I was just like, I don't know. Um to comment my YouTube live, you just you should it should have a comment section. It's not restricted, so you can comment, Sarah. I'm not sure why you're not seeing it. Um, Cynthia, I know you can do you can do paint parties without even having an LLC or a DBA. You can just go right into it. You don't have to have that. But when you start making a good like profit off it, you definitely have to have um, LLC and all that. But yeah, just start now. You don't need that. It could be like a hobby. But I mean, if you are like making over like $600, you know, the government does require that you report something like that. If you're getting paid through like um, those cash app services, Venmo, all that, you still have to report it. Unless you're doing it as like friends and family, then you don't necessarily have to report that because then it's not really a business. But you have to make sure it's being, the money's being paid through friends and family if you don't, if you don't want to report it. <laughs> yeah yeah no problem yeah i think i suggest you uh talk to an accountant or something like that that like can really go more in depth with questions like that
So if you want to do a pain party for a church, then just reach out to them, reach out to churches. Like I've reached out to churches where I send like an email and I provide like um, photos of past pain parties that I've done. I've attached like a video so they see what it looks like. And I tell them the benefits of having a pain party, like what it can do for the congregation. And um, from there, you just ask for their contact and then like you speak to them. Yeah, no one really is, it's hard for people to say no to a pain party unless they don't have the budget. Who wants to say no to a paint party? Paint parties are fun. Okay. All right, you guys. So I'll be back on live. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Okay, you want me to make more videos about my day? Okay. <laughs> People always ask me to make videos about my day, but I just feel like my day is so boring. It's like, why would you want to see that? But I guess, you know, looking from the outside in, it doesn't look as boring to others because you live it every day. So it seems boring, but to somebody else, it wouldn't be boring. Oh, why not? Yeah, you should be able to comment on there, Sarah. It's probably something, I don't know, maybe something with your account. <laughs> I was reading a text message, y'all. Yeah, I don't know why it's not letting you comment, but you're on there now. You're on my YouTube, Sarah. Yay. Okay, all right, you guys. I'll see y'all on Wednesday. Um, before, if y'all have any suggestions, go ahead and comment now what you guys want to see. I know someone said last time I was on live they want to see a portrait. Oh, I love y'all. Just says I'll be going back and forth. Oh. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and comment if y'all have um, a bunny. Okay. Do a live. Okay. I've been um I've been live on a few of them. But okay, I'll do that. But I'm talking about like I do step by step painting too, Cynthia. I go live and do step by step paintings. Where y'all paint along with me. Okay. Sarah says a bunny. When I'm looking this way, it's because I'm looking at TikTok. Okay, we'll do, yeah, we'll do a bunny. Easter's coming up. We'll do that. Cute little bunny. Oh, you! I didn't see it. I hate when I miss those. Y'all see, I got. <laughs> did y'all notice I have one? <laughs> I have one eyelash on. Y'all didn't even notice. I had to take. I don't know for some reason with this eye when I wear a lash, I can't wear it too long. It starts to weigh down my eye for some reason. So I took it off. I forgot to take that one off before I went live. Okay. But yeah, I'll have more content about that, Cynthia. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Shan. Yeah, tell them. You yes. That's very important. Thumbs up, y'all. Okay. All right, so y'all, same time next time on Wednesday, 11 p.m. I will see you guys, 11 p.m. Okay. All right, TikTok. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. We'll paint a bunny. Wednesday, 11 p.m. Eastern, you guys, 11 p.m. Okay. All right, thank you guys for all the love, the likes. Hugs, 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 and kisses. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye. See you guys on Wednesday. Yes, see you there. I'll, Wednesday's going to be the last time I'm going live on TikTok. So I'll be on TikTok and YouTube at the same time on Wednesday too. But yeah, see you on YouTube, Sarah. Bye, y'all. Good night. Okay, YouTube. I will see you guys on Wednesday. We're going to paint a bunny. We'll paint a bunny. 
Good night, Shan. Good night, y'all. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm so happy to be like a part of um, going live on my YouTube now more consistently. Like, I'm excited to meet more of you guys. Good night. Good night. If y'all have more questions, feel free to ask me. A lot of the, uh, um, when, I, when I paint step by step, is um, it's not going to be a lot of paint party content, but y'all can ask me any paint party questions you have. And I'll answer them to the best of my ability. All right. Good night, y'all. Hugs and kisses. Thank y'all for joining. Bye.